Hello. So today I'm gonna share about. Compact powder that I have You already hit the pan By hitting the pan Definitely you know What I mean After I show you So I'll be sharing Five products today Regards to I always go to them Be it setting my makeup Or using it as a Compact powder For foundations This one I always set them with Under my concealer Will always be this uh, Fenty Beauty So this is the one That I always go to and today, while using, I really see myself heat the pan. So for this powder, right, it's actually very fine. You can actually set it under your eye area, T-zone, or even your chin area. I always have oily chin over here. So it lasts me pretty good hours throughout the day, as I'm always outside running for work, for appointment. So don't have to worry that your makeup will melt. And the rest I'm talking about will be my loose powder foundation. I always use my pow my compact powder with a soft brush, something like that. This is another product that I purchased online at beautylish.com in Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury. The another product that I hit my pen. So this product is actually very fine. Definitely, if let's say I actually pick up, I always pick up with my big brush. Say right to actually swipe it all around my face. You won't even feel that kicky or even thick makeup. You won't feel that thick at all. It's very light. Recommended. Another one that I got off from BFS, the one at Portrait, is the Jojo Armani Luminous Silk Compact Powder. Same thing, I also heat the pen. It's very soft also. This, this two work alike. Price, also the same. So, same thing for this ah. I always use big brushes and then go over all my face. Definitely you will feel very cakey and all. Recommended. The next two products I'm gonna share is actually something that I will go to if I'm lazy to apply liquid foundation. So the first one will always be YSL. This one ah. I don't know the name of it eh. No name. But definitely if let's say you go to YSL product they will always recommend you something that suits your face okay you see ah, hit the pen with calm so for this contact conditions I always use this brush which is the Sigma Brown Cookie brush that looks like that how I pick up product with this brush is I always go and see how much product we pick up and then this is a high coverage foundation can you tell? can you tell the difference? Oh, this is another luxury product that makeup product that I will always splash my money on. I will repurchase. I will. Then the next one I'm gonna share will be the Chanel Contact Powder. So this I also get over Chanel Powder at Vivo City Outlet Chanel. I didn't know what I want to get, but the consultant here, consultant over there, they recommend this lah. So this is in. This I definitely don't know how to do this. So something I hit the pen. So this is also a very good product. Definitely nothing too heavy as you want out. This is medium to coverage. So you see as I use the same brush as the cookie products. Same thing, I always go in circular motion. Oh my oh my Compact powder foundations, I always go in circular motion. So be it. I don't have foundation here. You see, there's no foundation here. Ta da! No foundation. Okay, so just try on. I always do more motion like that. Definitely, you can tell this is actually much more like weight than how I usually differentiate which compact powder to go to. It's always based on my mood. Lah. These are the five compact powder that I always go to. So if let's say talk about compact setting powder, it will always be you. Thank you, Rihanna. Then for something lighter, something more fine, you can always go to Jojo Armani, which is like that. Jojo Armani compact powder, and the other one will be this Charlotte Tilbury. This I don't think Singapore is selling, <coughs> but you can always get them in Beautylish.com. And for high coverage. 
this two are the recommended one is the YSL that I always stress on I always use I always always go to the other one will be this Chanel powder powder worth giving a try for this two if you are looking for compact powder high coverage medium full coverage medium coverage full coverage if you do not like liquid foundation then these two by all means I hope you like it so I have come to an end of sharing the most used compact and setting powder so you can always give them a try you can always get them from Sephora if not you can go to this thing called www.beautylish.com I will also link it down in my caption so you can always visit the website thank you